Good afternoon. I'm your host, Karen Ambrose Hickey, and welcome to Data Talk with Karen and Kate. We have a great show for you today, but first, let me introduce my co-host, Kate Blatt. Thank you, Karen. I am so excited about today's topic, which is all about work shifting. Work what in? Shape shifting? <laughs> no, work shifting. The ability to work where and when you want to. Work shifting is forever changing the workplace. The way we work, when we work, and where we work. OMG, I think we do that. Why, yes we do. And for today's show, we're going to try a little experiment. Do tell, Kate. We are going to film the entire episode while work shifting. Love it. Let's see if this works. Hey, wait, don't you have to be at the airport? Yes, I'm heading out of my annual summer soiree with my family, but I'm going to report back on great workforce statistics about what people do on holiday. Oh, and I'm camping, camping too, and then I have a wedding to go to, and then I have a ton of back-to-school commitments that I cannot forget. Back-to-school, do not get me started. I've got that too, and if we can show how effectively we work shift, maybe our producer Carol will let us do it more often. <laughs> so, it's decided, let's work shift. One, two, three, go, go team, team data. data talk! <laughs> so sorry, but I really have to go. Oh my god, now, for data talk with Karen, oh wait, let me just tell you quickly. If you can tell our viewers how mobile workers are work shifting around the clock, that would be awesome. Will do. Have a great trip. Thanks. Talk to you soon. As mobile workers, we now work before our commute, during our commute, after our commute, and even during our lunch breaks. When we finally get home, we continue to work. In fact, we're even sacrificing a little bit of good night's sleep for one last email or to try and finish up on that project. In fact, the flexibility of our current environment is helping us work 10 hours more per week on average than our office-bound coworkers. What surprised me most was the number of mobile workers who worked before they went to the office. 62% do this at least one to two times a week. I guess the early bird does get the worm. Or the cricket. And forget about the lunch hour. 37% of survey respondents work during their lunch hours during the week, and 66% one or two times per week. And what we find are workers in North America are more likely to work through lunch. This trend is lower in other geographies. Perhaps we could learn something from the Europeans and those workers in Asia Pacific, who do take some time out during their lunch and truly value the art of eating. Oh, excuse me, so true. Mobile workers are not only shifting our work periods to different times of day, we are also working from a variety of different locations. The most common place outside of the office was their homes, with 47% working there daily, 99% uh, at least occasionally. But mobile workers do get out sometimes. 88% work from the road, 84% from cafes, and 77% outside using a citywide mesh Wi-Fi, at least occasionally. We sound super hyper-connected. Do we ever disconnect? We do, but I'm about to sit down to dinner with my family, so we'll have to wait until next time. And that's our show for today. Additional information on the Mobile Workforce Report can be found at mobileworkforceproject.ipass.com. Stay tuned for more on work shifting in our latest Mobile Workforce Report. And with that, I'm Karen, and she's Kate, and here's hoping we stay connected.